term. Therefore, I think the European Union must be destroyed. Minute. It's a series of monologues. It's not a dialogue. Yeah, it so. really is a pity that Mr. Ligutko is not here anymore because otherwise, I hate to break it to him, but he is not Poland. He's representing one, one voice in the Polish debate. And I have actually asked my Polish friends what they would like to hear in this debate being mentioned. And in no time, dozens of people answered by messages, mails, comments, and many points were brought up, amongst others, the government's reaction or the non-reaction to the fascist march uh, last uh, Saturday, LGBTI rights, minority rights, the question of free elections, free media, independent courts, the cutbacks on uh, NGO funding, teachers' rights, the question of the Bialowiecka forest, uh, and also over and over again women's rights and sexual and reproductive rights that were mentioned by Polish citizens, uh, and I wanted to bring this up in the debate. But actually the story that took my breath away, I must say, was the story of Piotr, a middle-aged man from a small city in Poland who actually burned himself in the middle of Warsaw in protest of this government. And he wrote a manifesto bringing up demands that uh, he would like to see considered by the peace government in Poland. And I think that one thing that he was saying really struck me, that despite the fact that he wants people to stand up against this government, he said, remember, however, that the peace electorate are our mothers, brothers, neighbors, colleagues, and friends. This is not about fighting a war. This is about creating a dialogue. And I think Thank it's you. on us now and Mr. Timmermans Thank to you. create this dialogue and to stand up for rule of law and for Polish citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mrs. Reinke, Mr. our colleague, Mr. Coburn, would like to address you. Would like to address you. Mrs. Coburn would like to address you. Would you accept the blue card? Yes? Is that... <laughs> okay, so uh, Mr. Coburn. Uh, thank you, Madam, for, for allowing me to, to, to address you. And uh, Mr. President. Um, surely, Polish values are those of its democratically elected parliament and government, not those of other European nations. And I speak as a homosexual. I don't agree with many of the things the Polish government are doing. I also am very pro-feminist, so I don't agree with a lot of the other things the Polish government are doing. But surely it is the right of the Polish people to make their own decisions. And Britain will never forget what Polish pilots did for us in World War II. And if Poland is being dictated to by the EU, perhaps you should consider joining Britain in Brexit. Would you agree with me, madam? Okay, Mr. Coburn, I don't know how many times this has to be repeated in this parliament. It's not about specific policies that we are discussing today. It's about breaching the Polish constitution, and that's the basis of how we are doing democracy altogether. So if rule of law is not respected in the countries, then there cannot be a democratic debate. And this is the problem, and this is why we are standing up. We are not discussing policies here. We are discussing what is the fundament of how we are discussing. And if that, we are in breach with that, then there cannot be democracy and there cannot be a democratic debate. And that is the problem about the situation in Poland right now. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. As a uh, right-wing politician, let me tell you that people only support law and justice because the previous governments were even worse. And the European Union supported previous governments. Timmermans' attacks increased the popularity of PIS because people, Polish people don't like external interference. Some of the things they're doing are right, some, uh, some of the things they're saying are right, some of the things are absurd. You don't know about Poland. But the pe you get information from people who don't tell you what the situation in Poland is, they tell you what, it would l l what they would like it to be. Take uh, gay rights, uh, for instance. Uh, popularity of uh, PIS is rising. What you're doing on gender equality means PIS's popularity rises. In other words, if, if, you, uh, if you want 
to, to get rid of PIS, then you know you leave uh, Poland alone. And I think the European Union should be destroyed. Uh, request. No. Listen, listen. The, the only person who has the right to accept or not to accept, because we said that it's one blue card for per speaker, is Mr. Mike. So Mr. Mike accepts the request from uh, Mrs. Becerra Bastericea. Okay. Señor Corbyn Mike. Well, every time you open your mouth, uh, Poland should cringe in shame. Poland is in all of our hearts. We all love Poland, but we love solidarity. We, uh, we, we admire their courage and innovation. But you were just saying, talking about the uh, government that's in power. It's undermining, destroying the uh, rule of law in Poland. You were saying that we are uh, increasing its popularity because there's a stance against the homosexuals and there's your position on women as well. What are we supposed to do? Gag women? Um, I don't know. I don't understand this. Europe loves Poland because Poland is Europe and I represent the Poles exactly as you do and probably better than you. Could you maybe answer that? Thank you. Mogę. Jest, ok. E, mówiłem o absurdalnych prawach kobiet. I was talking about absurd women's rights. Women in Poland can retire earlier, and you think that that is a breach of women's rights. You're you talk about women 50 times more uh, than you talk about men. Is that discrimination? I really don't understand what your problem is. There is no uh, violation of women's rights in Poland. There are more women uh, working in Poland than there are in the West. What's your problem? The next speaker is Ms. Metzola for two minutes.